Hey guys, what's up? So we know that the Google Pixel 4, 4XL both will be announced next month and the most defining feature of the smartphones is the hand gestures. But there is a problem with the hand gestures. Actually not with the gestures themselves, the gestures are good. It's the discrimination they are doing with the customers. Let me explain. It all started when reports arrived from Best Buy that Google Pixel's legendary feature the hand gestures will not be available in every single country. On the Best Buy page of the Google Pixel 4, they very clearly mentioned and I quote, not functional in Japan, motion sense functional in US, Canada, Singapore, Australia, Taiwan and most European countries. So we can clearly see that the Canadians, Americans, Australians, boy, what do we call people from Singapore? Singaporeans and also most of the European countries are also definitely getting this feature and it says most so there should at least be one or two countries in Europe which will not get this feature and Japan definitely isn't getting this feature. Now let's talk about some big Asian markets. It wasn't mentioned in this particular page but there was a separate report unconfirmed I will add that report said that this feature is also not going to come in India which also means that it probably won't be coming to other Indian neighbor countries. For China, I have no idea, they work completely different. I really really hate when companies do this type of discrimination. We pay the full money, shouldn't we be getting all the features you are giving to other people? If this is the case then they have just ruined this smartphone for us. And by us we mean those countries which don't get this feature. Sony used to do almost the exact same thing by not providing fingerprint scanners on the phones which they sold in America. Everyone else got fingerprint scanners except Americans and Sony did suffer a lot from that. Sony did that because of some regulation or agreement they signed that didn't allow them to use fingerprint scanner in the USA. Similarly in India I remember that some year backs Indian cars weren't allowed to use radar for front collision warning. At this time, I couldn't find a reason for Google not implementing this feature globally but I am almost sure that there is some sort of regulation which is stopping them from doing it on all the smartphones. After the launch event, Google will have to speak up about the reasons for not giving this feature in some countries so at that time, we will know the reason for sure. As of now, the best guess is that there might be some regulations or agreement or the fear of getting sued is the reason why they are holding back this feature in a couple of countries. And by couple of countries I mean probably a lot of countries. So this is all we know right now about the geotagging of the Google Pixel 4 new features. Remember guys, this is kind of official but not exactly official. Maybe Best Buy screwed up and everyone is getting this feature and I do hope that's the case because I was really looking forward for this feature. It was something out of ordinary. You guys can leave your questions about this stuff in the comment section down below. I will be reading all of them and making a video really soon about is there a way to bypass this geoblocking and use this feature everywhere. So for that video you should leave your questions in the comment section down below. Make sure to subscribe so that you will be notified when I post that video. And as always guys hit the like button if you enjoyed and I will see you tomorrow. Peace out.